Welcome back everyone to Learning Mutation, today we're in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 1575, okay? It says, the 5 kilogram wall ball is fired from the tube at A with a velocity V equal to 6 meters per second. If the coefficient of restitution between the ball and the surface is E equal to 0 0.A, determine the height H after it bounces off the surface, okay? So, what we're seeing here is that we see our ball being launched by this tube from this tube and then at A we have the amount of velocity, the angle that is coming from this tube, the initial height and the ball is going to have this trajectory from A to B and then it will go also through this trajectory to C. And what we're asked to determine is basically this height H. Okay, so as always, the first thing I, I like to do in this problem is just go ahead and write out my givens. So the first given is that the mass is equal to 0 0.5 kilograms. Then I also have that the velocity at A is equal to 6 meters per second, right? And we have an angle of 30 degrees. I'm giving that the coefficient of restitution is equal to 0 0.8. All right. So, how are we going to solve this problem? Well, of course, we're given the coefficient of restitution, so we're going to utilize the coefficient of restitution equation. And since we're talking about basically a 2D problem with respect to a velocity and then it's dropping, well, we're going to utilize our kinematics equation. This is back to our first chapter in dynamics, which is chapter 12. Okay, so... We're going to start by first knowing the velocity at A, then we can find the velocity at B, and then with this velocity at B, then maybe we can find um, this height H, okay? So that's the main concept for this problem. So what we're going to say first is that the velocity of B, which is what we're trying to find, is square, and we're going to talk only in the y direction. So I'm going to assume that going up is positive. So in the y direction, has to be equal to the velocity of a square in the y direction plus two times the acceleration multiplied by well the change of s okay so i'm going to change this s minus s naught to the change of s so I multiply by the change of s and let's just go ahead and try to put out, put the numbers out. Well, first of all, the velocity of B is what we're trying to find, so we're going to leave it in our variables. Then the velocity of A in the y direction, okay? So the velocity of A in the y direction, so it's going to be six multiplied by the sine of the 30 degrees, S squared, plus two times the acceleration. Well, the acceleration is downwards and is 9.81, multiply by the change on s. How, what is the change on s in the y direction? So let me be clear and also add that it's in the y direction from a to b. Well, the distance is these two meters high difference, okay? So since we're going down, I'm going to add a negative two. Now that we have this, what I can do is just um, solve for the velocity of b in the y direction notice that over here we have a square so what we need to do is basically the square root of these entire terms okay our right term so if I plug that into my calculator that will give me a total of nine um, sorry six point nine four five five and the unit should be in meters per second. Now, the velocity of y, as you can see, is going downwards, right? So, I'm going to add a uh, a, an arrow saying that it's downward. Why did the answer did not give me um, a negative value? And the reason for that is that we're doing the square root. And for a square root, my answer should be a plus or minus. So, we are the, basically the ones who, by, uh, by applying in a little bit of... Um, deduction we're going to deduce that basically is going downward so the value should be negative now that we know the velocity of b right so this is the velocity of b before bouncing so our initial velocity is going down however this is going to bounce back right and what's that velocity when it bounces back and wants to go up well 
that's what this coefficient of restitution will help us with. So we're going to do that the coefficient of restitution is going to be equal to the velocity of b after bouncing back. Now I just want to not to let you know that this is also in the y direction. Everything that we're going to do is in the y direction minus the velocity of the object that it's hitting, well, it's hitting the ground, right? So I'm going to put a G for ground after the collision, all divided by the velocity of ground before the collision minus the velocity of B, again, in the Y direction, before the collision. So what we can do is plug in some values. The coefficient of restitution is given to us by the problem. 0.8 and that has to be equal to well the velocity of b after bouncing back is what we're trying to find so let's just leave it like this minus the velocity of the ground well technically the ground is not moving right so we can assume that that this is equal to zero we are going to divide it by the velocity of ground before the bouncing so zero again minus the velocity of b before bouncing. Well, the velocity of B is the one that we just found. However, it's negative, negative 6.9455. And the reason for it being negative is that I chose that the positive sign is when it's going up, this one is going down, therefore it's negative. What we can do is solve for the velocity of B after bouncing back. So I'm going to call the velocity of B2 in the y direction is going to be well this minus and this minus becomes a positive and we pass it to multiply here so we got 0 0.8 multiplied by a positive 6.9455 after we plug this into our calculator this will give me a total of 5.5564 okay the units again meters per second and in this case, we're going upwards because this is when we bounce, right? Okay, so now we have the, this velocity, which is what we were interested in. How are we going to find this h? Well, we're going to utilize again our kinematic equation, just like we use these two meters for this change on s. We're going to do something similar, but relating the velocity of b when it's going up and the velocity of c, okay? So... I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the equation, I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it over here just so we have a little, we know what we're doing. And what I'm going to say is that the velocity of C in the y direction is square has to be equal to the velocity of B, right? Uh, the After bouncing in the y direction is square plus the acceleration two times the acceleration multiplied by the change in position in the y direction. Now, as I said before, this change in position between point B and C in the y direction is this high H that we're interested on, okay? So, the first thing to know is that we need the velocity of C. So, what is this velocity of C? The velocity of C, and it's important to know, is that the point C happens at the maximum height of this parabolic. And what do we know? Well, the velocity of C in this case is going to be equal to zero. And that happens because that's when the ball reaches the maximum height and then it doesn't have any more velocity in the y direction and then it wants to go down. Okay, so we know that this velocity is equal to zero and that has to be equal to the velocity of b when after the bouncing as we found out to be 5.5564 squared plus two times a the acceleration negative 9.81 multiplied by my change in position well as I, we agreed the change in position is h okay which is our main objective so if we solve for h this is going to give me negative 5.5564 squared all divided by 2 multiplied by negative 9.81 okay and if we plug this into our calculator we will get a total of positive 1.57 and the units should be in meters okay and just like that we found out the answer for this problem 
So I really hope you guys like this video. Please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.